Guys, hear me. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're just going to get rolling here. I think a lot of people are going to watch this later, so we'll wait. All right, so. Oh, there he is, Coach Harbaugh. Paul Harbaugh's in the house. What's up, Coach? All right, so here's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to talk today about the three levers of nutrition. So the agenda for today is this. I'm going to go over this concept with you guys, and this was a concept. This is not mine. All right, everything that we have that's good, we stole it from somebody else. Okay, so this is a concept I actually got from a, a doctor, Dr. Peter Atia. I've put some of his content in the inner circle before. Um, he was a surgeon. He was, you know, a very a brilliant doctor that has now focused on his entire, you know, medical practice around longevity. And the basis of that is, is really nutrition, right? So um, he dives deep in nutrition. Now, really, really smart guy, and a lot of that stuff is way over my head. But when I heard him teach this concept of the three levers of nutrition, I was like, it's brilliant. It's, he took this really, really complex topic and broke it down, right? So I'm going to talk through this concept for you. Hopefully it makes sense. If you have questions while I'm going, go ahead and post those questions up, all right? Um, but once we go over kind of the, the levers, then we're going to talk about how we're going to actually put it into practice for you guys, because that's the key here, right? We can teach these concepts all we want, but if we don't really put them into practice, it's useless, all right? So not only are we going to help you kind of learn this concept, but we're also going to help you put it into practice going forward, and that's what we have in store for you. And that's kind of the big announcement that we have coming up over the next 30 days. We're going to start on Monday, and we're going to put some of these concepts into practice and, and try to help you guys with nutrition. Okay, so let's dive right in. So again, these three levers of nutrition, I got this from – Amy Meisner, what's up? I got this from this doctor, Dr. Peter Atia. okay? So we all know nutrition is a very complicated thing, all right? There's like almost a religious aspect around it where certain people are attached to certain things, and this is the only thing that works, and this is the only thing that works. And we've all seen magazine articles and books and research and all that stuff, and it says, you know, and the truth is, is that there's a lot of diets out there that work, right? There's a lot of concepts that work, and, and it's very individualized, and certain people do well with certain things, right? So that's why I really like this one because it really simplifies it, okay? So here's what we mean by the three levers of nutrition, right? So think about there's, the three levers are simply this, right? Time restriction, okay? Um, calorie restriction, and then what we call diet restriction or type of food. So think about any diet that you can possibly think of. Now, some of them are a combination of both, but most of them. So think about, let's start with the first one. Let's start with restricting the elements of the diet. So the first lever is what we call the DR, right? So this is... When anything you talked about, so vegan, vegetarian, paleo, keto, right, low carb, high carb, low fat, high fat, you name it, anything where we're talking about eating less or more of certain macronutrients or totally eliminating, right? So the carnivore diet, if you've heard of that, is an all protein diet, right? All you eat is protein. You totally eliminate carbohydrates whatsoever, protein and fat, right? So anytime when we're talking about manipulating eating more of one macronutrient or less of the other, right, basically protein, carbs, and fats, even like eliminating sugar and things like that, that all falls under that dietary restriction level, right? So, so that's all we're talking about. So there's thousands of different diets. Most of the diet books that you see at Barnes & Noble or on Amazon, they fall into that diet restriction. And there's literally camps of people that say, you have to eat this way. This is the only way humans should eat, blah, 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 right? But they all fall under that diet restriction. So if you've ever done a diet like that, that's the level that it falls, right? So that's only one of the three levers. Okay, the next one is calorie restriction, right? So this is really what we talked about. How much are you eating, right? So this is simply, there's a lot of people out there that say, it doesn't matter what you eat. I'm sure you've heard this too, right? It doesn't matter about the macros. As long as you know how many calories you're burning every day, how many you should take in, you're going to be able to lose weight. And a lot of times this is really geared around weight loss and weight gain, right? So how many calories are you taking in? How many calories are you, taking, are you burning off? If you have a good balance, you're going to maintain if you eat too many calories and you burn off, you're gonna gain weight, right? It's as really as simple as that. And there's people that swear by that, that no, these other two have nothing to do with it, right? So there's people that say, this is the only lever you need to worry about, which I don't know is necessarily the case, okay? And then the third one is time restriction. So if you watched the last couple of videos I posted, when I talked to my man Kyle Newell and talked about fasting, that's all that is, right? It doesn't matter what you're eating, it doesn't matter how much you're eating, it just matters when you eat it. Right? So you have windows when you're not eating and windows when you're eating based on hours or days or weeks, really. There's people that fast for weeks. And again, under each one of these three levers, there's tons of diets that you can do. 
right? Does everybody follow? And then there's a lot of diets that are a combination of both, but those are really the three big levers. Now here's the truth, right? The only thing that we know for sure that research backs up, right? Because the truth is all of these work. And there's research that backs up that doing any of these work. The problem is for a lot of people and the problem is right now, right? Especially with what we have going on right now with quarantine and being trapped and not having a lot of options is a lot of people are, are doing this. And we can see this is off the lever. So I don't know if you can read that, but it says SAD. So all the research, right? If you ever see SAD, if you're reading an article, SAD just stands for Standard American Diet. So what is a standard American diet? It's not worrying about any of these three things. So basically you eat whatever you want, you eat as much of it as you want, and you don't care when you eat it, right? So you're not worried about, you're not really pulling any of these three levers. And that's a problem, right? So that's when we see all the health implications. That's when we see weight gain. That's when we see fat gain. Any issues that you have with nutrition are generally centered around doing that standard American diet, right? So what we're talking about is you want to make sure that you really have locked in, that you're pulling one of these three levers. Right? And that's what we want to help you with. Because it's very confusing a lot of times to say, well, I think I'm eating the right things, but I'm not really sure. And then I want to make sure that I'm not eating too late or too early. Should I have breakfast? But when I have breakfast, and there's, there's so many questions that come up and it's so confusing, right? So this is what we mean by want to simplify. It. So does that make sense? Does the three levers make sense, right? Time restriction, how much you're eating and what you're eating, right? And there's really three big areas of focus. And a lot of diets will cross over, right? And say, and so it makes it really confusing. So let's simplify this. So what we want you to do and what we're going to help you do is really focus in and just choose one of these three levers that we're going to pull, all right? Because if you want to really improve your health, if you want whatever your goal is, lose weight, feel better, right? Decrease inflammation, whichever those, whichever your goal, whatever your goal is, right? You've got to make sure you're starting with just one of these three and really focusing in it and making it more of a lifestyle. And that's what happens. A lot of times with diets is you try to do all three at once and it's just too much. It's overwhelming and, you know, you tend to fail when you do that. Very few people can maintain all three of these for long periods of time. But you can take one and just focus on that one and make it a lifestyle. And it's really up to you to choose which one. And we're going to help you not only choose one, all right, but we're going to help you guide you along and kind of build that into your lifestyle and make these habits. All right, so, so how we're going to do it is we're going to do a 30-day challenge. right? But we want you to pick one of the three levers of nutrition. So which one do you think would be the easiest to implement into your lifestyle right now based on everything that's going on, based on the food that's available, whatever it is, right? And not everybody is gonna fit in each one. What have you seen results with before? You know, what is your main goal? Do you wanna feel better? You know, I had some email questions about an anti-inflammatory diet. So a lot of times we talk about anti-inflammatory, that falls into what, right? Sometimes you wanna have more energy, you wanna sleep better. The time restriction might be a better fit for you. But if, if just general weight loss is your goal, but if, if that's all you want to do is lose weight, then maybe calorie restriction is where you want to start. And then we can start tweaking it. So once you have one locked in, it's much easier than to pull the other lever. All right? Is this making sense so far? Give me a comment. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know this is making sense. All right? So what we're going to do in the next 30 days is we're going to basically have a 30-day challenge. Now, this is not a challenge like we've done in the past where we're going to have prizes and we're going to have weigh-ins and all that stuff, right? We're going to have some units of measurement to see how we're doing with this diet. But the idea, the idea is to choose one of these levers and lock it in and build some habits to really make this a lifestyle and see if that's really sustainable for you and, and kind of build it into what we have going on. Right? How do you feel when you train? How does, it do, how does it affect your energy levels throughout the day? So what we've done is we've assigned two coaches to each of the three levers, right? So for the time restriction, Tommy and myself are going to take a group of people, right? whoever wants to jump in and kind of give fasting a try. So we're going to talk a little bit about what you're eating and a little bit about making sure you're not eating too much. But really the main focus of that challenge that you're going to do with me and Tommy is to really try intermittent fasting. Right? Is this right for you? Is this something that's good on your diet? Right? And we're not going to, again, we're not going to worry as much about what you're eating and how much you're eating. We're really going to focus in on really getting the timing down and building that in your lifestyle. All right? For the calorie restriction one, how much you're eating, Coach Brian and Coach Joe are going to lead that one. So if you really want to focus on your weight loss and you just think you're eating too much and you feel like you're taking in too much food, then that's what you're going to focus on. So they're going to use a little different method to kind of guide you through, you know, making sure that you're not eating too much throughout the day, that your calories aren't super high. And that's what, and that's what's really going to affect you. Amy Meisner, you asked, does fat loss and muscle gain fall into CR, 
both, right? Both of all of them. So fat loss and muscle gain, kind of you can kind of do all of them with that, right? So again, so think about when you're talking about fat loss and muscle gain. So usually for fat loss or muscle gain, you need to have a combination of both, right? So you could be eating a lot of the right things, but if you're eating way too much of the right things, it could be hard to lose fat, right? You could be eating a lot of the right things and not be timing it up properly for your body or for your, your hormones, and that could be throwing you off. Does that make sense? Or maybe you're not, you're not eating enough. If you want to gain muscle, sometimes it's a matter of not eating enough calories to really put on muscle. So it's hard to say that fat loss, fat loss is usually a combination of some. But the problem is you try to do too much too fast, right? And that's why we really want you to pick one right now and focus in, right? So Joe and Brian are going to take you through the, the kind of the, not really, basically calorie counting, right? Are you eating too much food? Just, just to get a grasp on, you know, a lot of your food and you're going to see how many calories you're having each day. And we're going to set you up for 30 days and really track it and see, are you eating too much? Are you not eating enough? Can we add or gain other foods that we can sub in that will make you hungry, that can kind of pull you above or below that line? Because calorie restriction does work, right, to a certain extent. Intermittent fasting does work to a certain extent, all right? And the third one is what you're eating. So if you want to feel better, if you want to have more energy, those kind of things, sometimes it's a matter of you're just not eating the right food. So I know a lot of people right now are talking about they're eating a lot of junk, they're eating a lot of processed carbs. Right? So if that's really where you want to focus and you really want to feel better and, and kind of bring the inflammation down, then maybe you want to choose. So Frankie and Michelle are going to guide you through 30 days of making sure you're making the right food choices. So the idea here is that we just want you to pick one and get really, really good at that one thing. Because if you try to do everything all at once, you're bound to fail. It's not sustainable. It's not going to last a long time. Right? The same way we talked about weight training, we want you to get really, really good at the movement before we start adding layers to it, right? So if you can't do a body weight squat, there's no point in putting a barbell on your back. Same thing here, right? If you're not eating the right foods, there's no point of laying on calorie restriction or vice versa or time restriction. So just pick one, make that a habit, make that a lifestyle. And maybe this is a mistake that we've made with a lot of people of trying to throw too much at you at once because we're learning so much constantly and all this stuff is backed by research, right? What we want to avoid is this. We want to avoid that standard American diet where you're eating as much as you can, right? Not worrying about when you're eating it and you're not worrying about what type of food. Like we want to get out of that, that sad diet, right? So that's what we're going to do for the next 30 days. So I want you to think about it, right? So the coaches, again, top, me and Tommy are going to take you through like a little intermittent fasting, almost think of it as like an experiment, right? How does that work for you? We're going to go 30 days. We're going to check in with you every day and we're going to help you set up intermittent fasting into your lifestyle. Make it really, really simple. We're not going to focus on too much. We're going to break it down, make it really simple for you. Right, and take you through 30 days. Same thing with the calorie restriction. Right? All you have to do is log your food, and then Brian or Joe will help you regulate it and make sure that the calories are right for you and you're not eating too much or eating too little for what you want to do. And if you really want to change the type of food that you're eating, Michelle and Frankie are going to guide you through that 30 day right, and really help you make the right choices when it comes to food. Now, once we have those locked in, once we're pulling one of those levers, we have our health on the right track, then we can start layering stuff on top. So we always want to be pulling one of those levers. But the problem is most of the time we jump around and we read another article or we see something in women's health or we see something in muscle and fitness magazine and we say, I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try this one. And you're just jumping around. You're never really building habits. So that's our goal. All right. Our goal for you is to pick one of these, pull that lever, and let's keep that lever pulled down, make it a lifestyle. And then it's much easier, right? So if you're already doing time restriction, then all we have to really do is change up right, what you're eating. If you're already you know, eating really, really clean, maybe it's just a matter of eating a little bit less or doing some time restriction, right? So it's, it's much easier to fluctuate. So Amy, you're asking about fat loss or muscle gain. Let's do one first. Let's make sure your calories are on point. Let's make sure your food's on point, time restriction. What I want you to think about is what's gonna be the best one for you to cho choose right now? So what's the best choice for you? I introduced the intermittent fasting because I felt like right now, for me, it's the simplest one, right? Food choices are, are limited for me. It's very black and white. You just don't eat right now. That might not be the best for everybody. Maybe it's easier just to track your food. Maybe you have access to really good vegetables and, and you know, really lean proteins. And so choosing what you want, right? All three of these programs are going to be awesome. All three of them are going to have the same template. We're going to kind of guide you through those 30 days. But we're not going to throw a ton of stuff at you. We just want you to choose that one, lock it in, and roll forward with it. Right? We're going to start this on Monday. 
And I want you to choose one. You're going to work with those coaches and that group of people. And everyone in your group is going to be on the same path as you. Now, again, there's different methods within each one to kind of guide you along. So we'll kind of personalize it to you as we go. But you're really going to get locked in on that one. And then we'll make changes from there. All right. Does anybody have questions? Anybody listening out there? Are there any questions on that? You know, hopefully that's making sense. All right. So, yeah. So Donald already saying time research. That's right. So that's a simple one. We can set you up on intermittent fasting. So you can post your comments in. You can drop me an email if you have more questions on this stuff. Right. We'll answer any questions you have. But the whole idea here is to make this much simpler. Because what happens a lot of times is you try to do all three at once. And if you're going from this, that standard American diet, and you're trying to do all three, that's where most diets fail. Right? Trying to do too much at once. It's so just like coming in to work out. And if you try to jump back in and you're doing hard cardio and you're lifting hard, right? You're going to beat yourself up and it's not going to be sustainable. Same thing with nutrition. Very similar to training. Let's pick one. Let's get really, really good at it. And let's go from there. All right. So post your questions up right now. I'm here to answer any questions you have. If you don't want to post your questions publicly and you just want to kind of roll out and, and drop me an email and, and kind of jump in this group. All right. So Valerie's asking, if I'm already dealing with time restricted, should I choose a different one for the challenge? Absolutely. So if you feel like you have one lever locked in and you have a specific goal, I would, I would suggest, yes. Yeah. So if you feel like you have time restricted locked in, right, maybe you don't need to do that, that group of us. The time restricted is really to learn about intermittent fasting and kind of making sure that your schedule is set and you have good windows that you're kind of following. Now, maybe we can dial it, dial it in a little bit for you, Val. But if you feel like the time restrict is locked in, then yes, maybe choose another lever. And it goes for all of them. If you feel like, you know, you're not eating too many calories and your calories are on a, in a good place, then maybe choose one of the other levers, right? Or if, eating, if you already eat really, really clean, if you already follow a pretty good paleo diet, if you already, you know, you're not eating too many. And again, unprocessed carbs and sugars and a lot of refined carbohydrates is what we're talking about here, right? So if you feel like you're already in that boat and that's a habit that you already have built in, then maybe try one of the other two and then we can kind of tweak that, whether it's time restriction or calorie restriction. All right, does that make sense? So that's what we're gonna do. So we wanna get everybody involved. If you're watching this, right, you gotta do one of these. You gotta choose a lever, right? Because if you're really serious about getting healthy, right, immune system's a big one right now. So having good health, this, the standard American diet, eating what you want, whenever you want, and not worrying about how much, is a recipe for failure across the board. Right, fat loss, muscle gain, feeling better, energy, long-term health, immune system. Let's stay away from that. Right, so we want you to choose one. So if you're watching this, pick one, jump in that group, and then we're going to give you a ton more information. But we want to kind of, it sounds funny, but we want to kind of spoon feed this to you. We want these to be habits because all three of these are sustainable, right, for long periods of time if you don't have to worry about too much other stuff. So let's dial one in, get you set up on that one. And then we'll go from there. And after that 30 days, you're feeling good. Time restrictions working for you. Then we can try some other stuff. Same thing. After 30 days, you're eating the right things. You have good habits in place of your food choices. Let's try to dial another one of the two in. All right. Hopefully that's making sense. Again, if you have questions, post them up or you can send them in to me. But I want you guys to choose one of these. Pull a lever. We'll put you on that list. And those coaches will reach out to you. And we're going to get you set up. Again, we're going to start Monday. Right. We're going to go for 30 days. And we're going to pull that lever. We're going to lock it in. Um, if you want more information on this, I can give you guys a link again. The doc doctor's name is Peter Atia. Brilliant guy. But really took, you know, nutrition is a very, very broad subject, right? And again, there's a bunch of different ways to do each of these. So we're going to try to help you find what works best for you. Because everybody watching this has different needs, has a different lifestyle. What, some of these will work better for you than others. So if you have specific questions, reach out to me. Let me know. If not, right, we're starting Monday. So drop me an email, post those comments. I feel like I'm repeating myself now. All right, so if there's no more questions, guys, let's get this rolling. Everybody needs this right now. All right, you can do one of these three. Right now, even though we're in quarantine, even though, right, times are tough and you're stressed out, we got to focus in. And that's why we want to make it simple. and Just focus on that one thing. Let's lock that in to get you on the path to better health. All right, so don't forget tonight, Meg has her yoga class, 6.30, right back here, right? Wherever you're watching this, Meg's going to be live doing a yoga class. Tomorrow night, Vanessa's going to be doing Pilates live. We have the live stream, 9 a.m. in the morning. We got tons of stuff coming for you. But this is going to help you with your nutrition. So if you've watched this and you're still listening, 
Choose one. Let me know which one you want to focus on, and we're going to help you get to your goals. All right? That's 23 minutes. That's pretty good. I've been rambling for 23 minutes. I don't think there's any more questions. So have a great day, guys. Let me know which one you want to do, and we'll get this thing rolling on Monday. All right? Have a great day. We'll see you guys later.